Hi everybody. Hi everybody. We just wanted to talk about the fact that we um, have made 50 episodes. In fact, by the time you see this, we might have made um, 53, 54, whatever. We wanted to tell you that uh, just how it all came about. Well, I bought a Randy a GoPro for Christmas when we first had gotten the boat just so he could play with it and make videos for the kids because the kids wanted to know what we had going on. So that's how we started and he used YouTube because it was the easiest way to get everyone in the family to be able to access it. I, I uploaded the videos to YouTube and I would send it to all our friends and family, mostly the kids and whatever. And then one day after like our first video was up or maybe our second, all of a sudden we had um, 300 views. And I realized I'd only emailed it to about 10 or 12 people. So that's when I realized it was open source and anybody could watch it. At first it kind of freaked us out. Yeah, it was kind of freaky. Yeah, and, and Lenny was like, wait a minute, I, I don't want to be on YouTube, what are you doing? And by then we'd started watching Delos and everything. And um, we kept filming, we made another episode, another episode, and then it just kind of uh, turned into a thing. So the problem was the first um, seven or eight episodes had the worst sound possible, the worst sound on YouTube. Yeah, everybody was commenting on it. It's been 13 months since we sold our boat in the BBI, ordered this one. I got more emails, in, in fact, to this day, people that go back and watch the original part, the original season, um, email me and tell me how bad the sound is. And it's because I didn't know how to edit and how to adjust the sound between music and volume and talking or what have you. And although our sound is not great because it's really hard to get great sound, um, it's improved over the video, so we're pretty happy yeah. about that. <laughs> so our apologies for the first date video. song has become a very special part of all the videos. Because it's how, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and how that came about was Randy was watching other sailing channels and everybody seemed to have a theme song and he decided we needed one. So he Googled all my searching songs that he could use on YouTube and found um, the song by Leisure Cruise that we love. And so that was going to be our song. And then he had to take it to a different level. And for our anniversary one year, he contacted them and asked them if they would change the words to Lenny and me instead of Spinny and me, which is the original lyric. And they were so nice and they did it and they sent us a video. We actually have a video on YouTube that it has explained Number the eight. Song. Number eight explains the song. I'm Leah. I'm Dave. It's nice to meet you guys. And thank you for listening to our track on your boat. And we're really happy you like it and we had fun customizing it for you, we've never done that before. And we hope that you have fun um, laughing about it and um, and uh, have a great another year together. And many more. And many more. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you soon. Bye. So that has become our theme song and we love it and we love that you enjoy it as well. I have received emails and notes and comments that says it is the best theme song of any sailing channel. And, uh, and I couldn't agree with you more. Maybe it's tomorrow. There's different ways you can use YouTube and most people use it um, to monetize it. Meaning that the more people that watch their videos, the more ad revenue they can share in and collect um, uh, from, from having YouTube videos that are very popular. So our channel is non-monetized and it has been from the beginning. What that means is, it doesn't matter if I get 10 million views, we don't make a cent on it. What we do is we allow advertisers to place their ads on our videos, and that allows us to use some of the copyrighted music. And um, so this goes hand in hand with the next uh, thing I wanted to talk about, which is the music. Uh, as you know, by watching our videos, music is super important to me. Um, I pick, I spend a lot of time editing videos, it's about 20 hours per video, and I bet you five of it is picking the right music for each scene. And in order to use copyright music, I have to either ask permission and pay for a song, which we've done on several yeah. occasions, and, um, uh, and if it's a song that, that I can't buy, uh, or it's cost prohibitive, there's uh, a music policy page on YouTube that tells you what will happen if you use the song. And no, you won't go to prison if you use a copyrighted song, but the owner of the copyright may choose to monetize your video. And that's how we do it. We pick songs 
that copyright holders like us to use because then they make money from the ad revenue, not us. And that's how we get to use the great music. Everyone always asks us what our sail plan was when we first got the boat. We slept for 48, it was about almost three years ago now, and the answer is we didn't really have one. We our knew. plan was to buy a boat and sail to the Caribbean. To get sail to the Caribbean, which we had done before, but we wanted to go deeper in the Caribbean because we'd never gotten pretty far south. So that was the goal and that's what we did, and Grenada was kind of the end of the Caribbean. And so we got to Grenada and we looked at each other and said, okay, now what are we going to do? And there was a lot of discussions about whether we should go back up the Caribbean, you know, figure out what we go to the med, you know, a lot of options we had. Brazil. And, yeah. And we decided to keep going. And we went to Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Colombia, Panama, and all the way through the canal and up to California. So it was a very aggressive plan. When, when we got to California, people saw this Leopard 48 in San Francisco Bay. And I would get emails and people would stop me and go, what are you doing here with yeah. that boat? And I'm, I would say it's a long story. I was born and raised here and I just kind of was nostalgic for yeah. us to bring the boat back. It's been, a, it's been a great journey. So if you're gonna do this, you will start with a plan and then the plan will change. Always. So uh, most of you know we have a Leopard 50 on order because we're crazy like that. And even though we have a perfect boat all laid out, um, we're selling this boat in uh, December of 2018 and we're taking delivery of a Leopard 50 in March of 2019. And the goal for that boat is to outfit it and then start the world arc in 2020. We're going to cruise the Bahamas yeah. um, mainly so we can stay close to home and get back for repairs as necessary until the boat needs to be in Aruba, not Aruba. Uh, St. Lucia. in St. Lucia in December of 2019. I am a flooring contractor. I have a company that installs flooring in new construction homes. And I started it 35 years ago when I was 19. It's been a family business with my father and brother. And now my kids are all in it for uh, 35 years. I'm the CEO of the company and it allows me the, the freedom to travel the way we do by boat. A lot of people uh, email us and ask, ask us that question. that question. And Lenny? I'm a general contractor and I, I work for myself. I build single family homes and near where we live. And so I have that flexibility as well to travel. I have some staff that helps me and some support. So it's, it's good. That's yeah. What we do. So we're those not. Those are our day jobs. Yeah, those are our day jobs. We're, we're not retired. We're on the boat about a week a month, sometimes 10 days. And we've been doing this for 36 months. And yeah. this is our 36th trip that we're on today. So it's a lot of back and forth, but it's it's a great it's great to have both. We work hard and we cruise. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>